I think we now have very good retrospective data that HPV positive tumors are highly responsive to therapy. Not only is there good control with surgical resection, but radiation therapy and chemotherapy sensitivity of these tumors is much greater than that of smoking-related cancers. And the long-term prognosis is clearly uh, significantly, I would have to say, enormously better than what we see with smoking-related cancers. Now, this difference is due to two factors. There is the intrinsic biologic difference between the cancers, and there's also the demographic difference between the populations being treated. People who have smoking, drinking, or chewing tobacco, environmentally related cancers, generally have a higher risk of second cancers. They have other smoking related comorbidities, and so their survival from uh, other causes uh, is worse uh, than uh, that of patients who have HPV related cancers who tend to be younger and generally healthier. Even taking that demographic difference into account, the biologic difference is significant and it, at least a two to three fold improvement in survival is seen uh, in patients treated with the optimal therapies that we've developed over time uh, for treatment of advanced and locally uh, advanced uh, head and neck cancer. I think the data from uh, our TAX 324 trial and the RTOG 0129 trial as well as the initial ECOG trial demonstrate that a great deal of the improvement in survival that is biologically relevant to HPV has to do with improved local regional control. Uh, the induction regimens and the chemo-RT regimens as well as surgical regimens improve local regional control compared to what we see with patients who are treated for smoking-related cancers.